Okay, what I'm going to be tying here is a high-vis Griffith knot. I'm going to start off with my black thread, um, ADOT or UTC 70 in black. I'm going to be tying on a Tiemco uh, 101 dry fly hook. I'm going to tie in at the head there. I'm not going to go all the way back to the back yet. I'm actually going to tie in my high-vis post here before I go back there. And I'm using some type of uh, synthetic yarn, whether it be McFly foam, poly yarn. You could even probably use some Antron in a bright color using orange here. And I tie in an even amount, um, stick, one sticking off the back, uh, the other sticking off the eye. And then I bring them both up, and I'm going to wrap around them just like a parachute post. And wrap around them just enough to uh, get them to come together. And I'm going to continue to the back of the fly. And I'm going to tie in a, a piece of grizzly hackle. And you gauge its size just by folding it over the hook like that. And I've stripped off a little section uh, give me a spot to tie in with. And tie that in. Then I'm going to take my piece of peacock. And you could use one strand or two strands. I wouldn't use more than two. I actually usually prefer to use one on a small fly like this. And I tie it in so that the uh, long portion of the peacock is facing up. And then I take my thread to the front of the fly. Now I'm going to actually wrap my peacock. And I place those wraps right up against each other. A yarn that got stuck in there. Now I'm going to jump around my post there, just like that. I'm going to tie it off. like that. Now I'm going to take my hackle and I'm going to wrap it through my peacock. And I'm going to come in front of my post there. Some guys use hackle pliers for this. I just use my fingers. I seem to have more control. I use my fingers. And then I'm going to capture it. And get in there and trim out that hackle. And then I'll sweep back the hackle with my fingers. Just like that, place some wraps up by the head, just to cover up any extra pieces, and then I'll whip finish. Sometimes you need to move some hackle fibers out of the way. And there you are, there's a Griffith snap, and then I'll trim my post. And then I'll usually trim it just enough so I can see it. It's just like that. There you are, it's a high-vis. Griffith snap.